Welcome back guys and today we are looking at the business suit Casey Jones and the split foot soldier. Hey guys, it's Thomas and this is the last of my Holothon reviews for now. I think I have mostly everything I'm looking for with the exception of Space Donnie and Samurai Mikey, but after going to so many targets, finding nothing, and then finding everything that I did have all at once, I was a little exhausted. So I'll leave it up to the fates to see if I find it on the app. But looking at the box art, it's pretty much the same what we've been seeing since the beginning of the line. Some nice product shots on the side. Everyone that's involved on the bottom. And then we do have some collect them all right there showing me what I don't have. But this looks like it has a lot of stuff in it. So I'm pretty excited. We already have a Casey Jones, but not quite the same. And we definitely have some foot soldiers. But getting these guys open, they're pretty cool. And I'll never complain about more foot soldiers because army building is really fun in the line. And Casey Jones, I think, needed a redo. But this wasn't necessarily the redo that I was expecting. So pretty cool to get him in his business suit. It's really only from one episode. It was Corporate Raiders of Dimension X, and it's a super wacky episode if you haven't watched it. He's really more like Clint Eastwood, not so much like the Casey that we've seen in the movies. So it's definitely a fun watch, and you kind of get to know the differences with the cartoon version. But let's take a look at this foot soldier, just getting him up close. I do love all the detail that's in that split down his head. I think they really went all out with those wires, so pretty excited to take a closer look at him but I'm wondering if they actually molded a piece with all the circuitry painted them separately and then glued them on the inside because those look really good and I doubt they could have gotten any paint on there if that was all molded as one piece but pretty impressive but going over some of the articulation he's not going to have any movement in the torso really he does have a swivel his legs are pretty stiff which is good because I'll talk about that later but I was able to bend him pretty well. I didn't have to add any heat to either of these figures, which is nice. And I think the foot soldiers are some of the only characters that come with boot swivel. Could be wrong about that. But all the movement was great. And I don't really know how many dynamic poses you're going to get this guy in. Because he's pretty much out of commission. But all the things that need to move, move pretty well. And I don't think you'll need to add heat to this. But you might want to go ahead and just be careful with your figure anyway. Looking at Casey, I'm super excited and super sad at the same time because this is our first suit body from the Toon line, which means great for our collection, but it's going to be real terrible for our wallets once a lot of those other suited characters start coming out. So I like the look of this figure. I don't feel like I'm getting a repeat character because this is really a completely different look for Casey. Going over articulation, Casey's arms move really well, and this is probably because of a feature that we'll show in a little bit. His legs are a little limited because of the sculpt of his pants, but luckily his ankle pivot and the shoes were nice to move. And I had so many problems with the turtle, so it was nice to kind of play with those and make sure there was no problem. His head does have limited articulation because of the sculpt of his hair, so you're not going to probably get him to be able to look up. But these look great. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of their accessories and see what they come with. So this is a very Casey heavy assortment of accessories. I think the foot soldier kind of got hosed in this box set, but if you have some of the other foot soldiers, they come with tons of weapons that you can't even put in their hands all at the same time. So maybe you can swap with those. And before you start mixing up your accessories, just kind of look at the difference between the hands before Casey and the foot soldiers. This way you don't screw them up. Casey's are a little smaller, but one accessory that I feel like should have came in this set was this big rifle that came with the foot soldiers previously this is from that episode corporate raiders of dimension x where a lot of the suit men were wearing it so maybe they could have included that with the foot soldier but since there's really not much to talk about with this foot soldier we'll go over his accessories first so you pretty much just get a big pile of hands with the foot soldier he comes with trigger hands open hands some tight gripping hands and then the figure actually comes with some fisted hands. So you're not going to be able to do much with all the trigger hands because you only come with one pistol. And then the tight gripping hands, if you have those other foot soldiers, then you can probably give him some of those other melee accessories. You do get this laser that we've seen in a bunch of other foot soldier packs. 
and it is slightly different the color is a little off from what we've seen in the past so this one is more of a beige or grayish where the older ones were just a plain white so at least you do get a variation in color with these lasers but if you want to go ahead and swap them out with some of the ones that came with your previous foot soldiers you can so I really don't know how many different poses you can probably get this guy in without him looking weird. For me, he's always going to be on the brink of getting kind of busted up. But looking at some of the other foot soldiers, we have the Slashed and Bashed that came with Casey and April. And these are kind of the only NECA figures. I don't care if they break, because if they do break, then I just have a bunch of foot soldier parts lying around. And that's great for photography, making the turtles look like they're busting up a scene. So pretty cool that we get a bunch of these different kind of damaged foot soldiers. These are my original foot soldiers that came with the first four two packs and i still think these are pretty much the best foot soldiers i know they came out with a two pack of them but they still hold up pretty well their joints are pretty stiff so they're easy to pose whereas these deluxe foot soldiers while it was cool to kind of get a whole bunch of accessories you got the foot soldier with the yellow foot all the joints on these were kind of crap and they're super hard to stand up you can see both of them are bow-legged but you do get that leader foot soldier head, which is kind of cool, but I just was always afraid of kind of snapping these. But like I said, if the legs come off, then so be it. Then they're just extra foot soldier body parts that I can put on my display. What I think is pretty cool is that we've gotten foot soldiers in two packs with other characters, and then we've gotten their own deluxe versions. So these are characters that they can keep releasing in different ways. And nobody's really going to mind because we all want more foot soldiers. You try to buy foot soldiers for the old Playmates line, and they're super expensive because everyone wants to army build them. So NECA's has really given us a chance to do that. I do think this new split foot soldier probably looks better with someone like Leonardo because he's the split and Casey doesn't really have any sharp weapons that would kind of cut through. So you can pose him however you want, but I think he looks really cool with Leonardo. But now having a few of these damaged foot soldiers, I think it's pretty cool on the display. So there's really a lot of things you can do with all the different characters. So if more of these come out, I'll probably pick them up. Moving over to Casey Jones, we're going to take a look at all of his accessories. He comes with those grippy hands that are pretty specific to him. They're kind of square shaped in the holes, which fit all of his weapons. And these are pretty much what we've seen in the previous release of Casey Jones. We do get this golf bag, which is made of a soft vinyl. It's kind of squishy, but it's pretty pliable. I think it's easy to get over Casey Jones's shoulder without taking his arms or his head off. If you want to do so just to be safe, might as well, but went on pretty nice comes with his barbed wire stick or at least i think that's what this is we get this sledgehammer which i think we've seen not only with casey but with scrag and then we do get a baseball bat i'm pretty sure we've gotten a few of these but great paintwork on the handle and then we do get casey's signature hockey stick so you have this white one with all the black line work going down and then we do get the goalie stick which is probably my favorite accessory to put with my casey jones figures so keeping him just like this, this is pretty much how he is at the beginning of the episode where he goes to uh, interview for a job. And by interview, I think he slams the baseball bat onto the desk and demands a job. But if you haven't seen Corporate Raiders of Dimension X, go watch it. Casey does come with an alternate look, so you can take the jacket off, which is where I mentioned before how his arms were moving pretty nice. And that's because it's meant for these arms to kind of peg in. When I got the gangsters or Bebop and Rocksteady's gang members, I never actually mutated them because I was afraid of breaking anything, but I really wasn't too scared with this guy. I just kind of twist and pulled the arms out. They came out fairly well, and then you just kind of pry open his buttons with the jacket, and then you can go ahead and plug those arms in. And I really wasn't scared to do this at all, so fairly simple. You do get this water spray bottle and this open grip hand and it fits really nice into that open hand so you don't have to worry about it falling out. It just kind of plugs right in and this is from that episode where all of the people that work at the company are hypnotized and to unhypnotize them you just kind of spray them with water. So I'm not sure if Casey used this but I know the turtles were going around spraying everyone with water but either way it's cool to have this accessory this is probably one of my favorite accessories because it'll fit really nice in my channel 6 news building diorama if you haven't seen me build that i'll put the link at the end of this video but i made some office space so any kind of prop that will fit into that kind of environment i think is pretty neat but casey jones did actually work in the building undercover so you see him doing some kind of mundane office work and it was actually pretty funny so to get this very specific prop is pretty cool in the display now what most people are probably going to get this two pack for i think is the unmasked casey jones face sculpt and this isn't canon to the cartoon so neca did take some liberties 
but there's some really nice detail with the bandages on his face and nose, the missing teeth, and the scar. This will look really cool for head swapping either on the new suited body Casey Jones or if you have the previous one, it'll look cool on there. And just looking at the two Casey Jones that we've gotten, you know, the suited body I really think is cool because it's a completely new look of the character, but there's some swappability options. So you can put the newer unmasked head onto the older body. You can put the new masked head onto the older body, which I think people were really excited because of the look of the hair. I think it's more accurate to some of the box art that we've seen, but if you don't have this Casey, I really think you should probably wait and not spend the money on him because I really do think they're going to redo this one because they made the suited body one taller, which makes me think they're going to re-release the older design with that new height scheme. So hold off. I think that's coming. But with the new suited body, you get like four different looks. So jacket, no jacket, unmasked, masked. So that's pretty cool. And you can swap those heads. So this one's a lot of fun. I think this is a great purchase if you're on the fence. And before I forget to mention, because I know people were upset that the new Casey didn't come with gloved hands. If you have the old version, you could swap those. But I would say wait for the deluxe version if you really want those gloved hands, because I'm sure they're coming. So are you picking up this two pack? Let me know down in the comments. I don't know. I think it's worth it because of all the different looks you get. But if you have the original Casey Jones and you don't need these kind of secondary looks for the characters, then maybe this isn't for you. But I really do think it comes with a lot of accessories that make it worth it. So that concludes my Holothon unboxings for now until I get that two pack I'm missing. But what we have coming up next, I do plan on doing a live stream this month to show off some of the dioramas that you have submitted. I have had a few submissions, which is great, more than I thought I would have. And that is based off the TMNT vintage bedsheet design. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'll put the link down in the description below. But until next time, folks, hope you can hit like and subscribe if you can. Hope you really did enjoy seeing these unboxings. And until the next episode, we'll catch you next time.